Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this lesson, we continue what we started in the previous section, talking about AWS networking. So in the previous lesson, we explained the concept of VPCs, public subnet, private subnet, and internet gateway. So highly recommended if you have not watched the last session, I'll put it here. Please watch it first, and then you can watch this lesson. And in this lesson, we talk about a very specific use case. And this is if I want to connect my physical data center, my physical on-premise to AWS. And this can apply in, for example, if I'm doing migration, or for example, if I want to adopt the hybrid cloud deployment. So I need to connect my physical data center into my AWS cloud. So we're going to talk about two options of how I can connect my physical data center into AWS cloud. And the first option is I can have my corporate data center and I want to connect to my VPC. And if you remember, this is my virtual data center inside the AWS cloud. So the first option, how do I connect my corporate data center to my VPC? The first option is using something called a virtual private gateway. So what is this virtual private gateway? Let's talk about it. Now, I have my corporate data center and I want to connect to my VPC inside AWS. And now this connection is going to be over the internet. And as we all know, the internet is not a secured medium. So how can I send my very sensitive data over the internet, which is not something secured? And I'm hearing people mentioning the answer to this is definitely a VPN. So if I want to have a secured communication over a non-secured environment like the internet, the answer is I can have a VPN. And if you come from a networking background, you may understand that we have multiple types of VPN. Which type of VPN we talk about here? Because this is very important to answer questions in the exam. This is what we call a site-to-site -side VPN or what we call a gateway-to-gateway -gateway VPN. Why this is important? Because from the type here, I need to have one gateway from the corporate data center side, and I need to have another gateway to terminate my VPN connection from my VPC side. So from the corporate data center, the gateway on the corporate data center, it can be the customer physical router, or it can be the customer physical firewall. This is the gateway from the customer side. What about the gateway from AWS side? And this is what we call a virtual private gateway. Of course, we understand we don't have anything physical on the cloud. So I need to have a virtual appliance that can terminate my VPN connection. So the gateway to gateway, the two devices I have here from the customer side, I have the physical router or the physical firewall. And from the AWS side, we have this virtual device called virtual private gateway. And if I have all of these components, now I can go and I can establish this VPN tunnel. So inside this VPN tunnel, all the information or all the data that I send here is completely encrypted. And that is the key here. So every information that I send, but this data is encrypted. And this is how I secure my data. So from one side, I encrypt the data. From the other side, I decrypt and it goes vice versa as well. So the first option, how I can connect my corporate data center into my VPC. The first option is the VPN. And I can have the VPN through gateway to gateway communication, customer router or firewall to a virtual appliance on AWS that we call virtual private gateway. This is the first scenario. But as you can see from here, 
I am using the internet and here this VPN tunnel cannot go to very high speeds at the time I'm recording this one the VPN maximum speed is 1.25 gigabit per second so what if I need to send huge amount of data I'm doing migration and I need to send huge amount of data and now here comes the second option of connectivity and this is what we call direct connect in direct connect let me explain it now in direct connect I have a physical cable so it's not a virtual connection over the internet now I have a physical cable so if you want some of the details what happens here I have my corporate data center and this is AWS and I need to go and I need to request from AWS a direct connection and this direct connection it depends on where exactly in which country you are because AWS has inside some countries what we call service providers inside these service providers we have these physical data centers and this is where we have what we call an AWS cage so that's a physical cage where it has AWS routers and you will have a customer cage and this will be your cage where you will put your physical router and as you can see from here this is a physical connection between my router and between AWS router as you can see here and this connection can go up to 1 gig 10 gig or even in some locations you can even go up to 100 gig so this can be very helpful in the cases of migration or it can be very helpful in the cases of I want to run a hybrid cloud for example and that's the case of direct connect now back to the exam how can I differentiate the two scenarios in the exam and which one do I choose so in the exam if you got a question and this question says I want to have a connection between my on-premise to the cloud and I need to establish this connection as fast as possible then here comes the VPN because it might take up to like one hour to have a successful VPN connection but if the question in the exam the scenario is I need to establish a direct connect a dedication a dedicated connection to me and I don't care this might take multiple weeks but I need very high speed like 10 gig or like even 100 gig then in this case you understand the answer is not the VPN the answer is a direct connect so with this I hope the concept is clear we explained here a very specific use case how I can connect my physical data center into the AWS cloud and we talked about two scenarios we talked about the VPN and we talked about the direct connect and we talked about how can I choose which answer inside the exam? So I hope the concept is clear. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lessons.